Oh, hi. Welcome to the Knowledgeist. This beetle has a higher understanding of science than its brethren, and it might even have a higher understanding than some of you watching right now. For it is the bombardier beetle. It doesn't use mandibles or jaws, clubs or claws. It uses the power of chemistry as its weapon of choice. Let's begin with the weapon itself. The thing that sets it apart, it's spray. When disturbed, the bombardier beetle emits a hot, noxious chemical spray from its rear end with a popping sound. The end result is a mix of chemicals at almost the temperature of the boiling point of water flying through the air. The bombardier beetle does this by compressing both of its glands that hold hydroquinone and hydrogen peroxide. It pushes them into the mixing chamber and in there it adds some of its bodily enzymes. With that, the reaction actually occurs. Without that, the reaction would not occur. The spray is purely defensive and is not used in hunting. Now more about the beetle and not just the spray. Bombardier beetles are a subsection of insects called ground beetles, which would be considered as your daily household beetles. So bombardier beetles lay their eggs in three places. Animal carcasses, dead plant matter, or underground. They grow to about one inch or 2.54 centimeters, and they're not uh, protected by PETA, or the people for the et ethical treatment of animals. Their diet consists of mostly small bugs, slugs, and some worms. They hunt mostly at night, with some exceptions, and when not actively looking for food, they congregate in small groups. Now let's end off the video with some fun facts. Number one, their genus is Braconius. Number two, they are considered to throw a monkey wrench in the theory of evolution because creationalists, or people who believe that the world was created by some higher being, um, argue that something so complex could not evolve from something, so, from something simpler. Number three, luckily, um, bombardier beetles have not been known to go into houses, so that's good. And yeah. In conclusion, bombardier beetles are fierce yet fantastic creatures who luckily do not lurk under your bed and use the power of science to defend themselves. Okay, so remember to like and subscribe and comment on my videos if you have any problems or if you have any suggestions for other videos. Okay, so bye!